Outwardly extraordinary, with the proper approach and the right choice, this crossover can be a very successful acquisition in the secondary market. Learning to choose a used Skoda Yeti It would seem that an inexpensive crossover with access to the market could count on an enthusiastic reception. Democrat in terms of price, in the database it cost a third cheaper than the Tiguan, and the handsome Yeti, with only a partly playful appearance, was a typical German Ordnung in design and layout. But 2009 was a crisis year, and the Czech crossover was really tasted only over time. When choosing Yeti in the secondary market, you should remember only two points that can become a contraindication to buying. This is a 1.2 TSI gasoline turbo engine and a DSG7 robot, the troubles and troubles of which are already on everyone's lips, in order to talk about them once again. Otherwise, the battered Yeti is almost not dangerous if you know the future locations of possible problems. But let's go in order. Claims against the 1.2 TSI engine come down to a few things. A weak timing chain, the stretching of which and the failure of the tensioner have already occurred on runs of 25,000 km. Following our whims about fuel quality and problems with the turbocharger on runs up to 50,000 km. In addition, until 2012, until they began to install an electric heater, many complaints were received about the slow warm-up of the motor. In a word, 1.2 TSI is best avoided in favorite versions with 1.8 TSI or 2.0 TDI diesel. However, diesel Yeti is already a rarity, initially it is the most expensive modification. The 1.8 TSI engine can be considered a compromise. Among its weak points, a jump in the timing chain is mentioned, again due to a weak tensioner on a run of 70 to 100,000 km. The attack is typical for units in the BZB modification, assembled before mid-2010. In turn, 1.8 with the CDA index upset the oil burner, up to 1 liter per 2,000 km, on runs up to 80,000 km. At the end of 2011, a first aid kit was released for them, a repair kit with a modernized piston, which eventually removed the problem. With the choice of transmissions is easier. We try to avoid dry DSG7. Its repair is expensive and unpromising. We strongly recommend a 6-speed manual gearbox as the most problem-free, albeit with a moderate clutch basket resource, about 100,000 km. You should not disdain and wet DSG6 series DQ250, which can only be obtained on the all-wheel drive Yeti. With a regular oil change every 50,000 km, it is quite reliable and will last up to 120,000 km without repair. Well, then, as they say, you need to look at the place, how this or that particular car has been preserved. Unexpectedly, the body turned out to be problematic, even small chips of the paintwork on which in one season turned into pockets of corrosion. Owners and guarantors at one time took a dashing sip with him, so even a car that did not participate in an accident by 4 to 5 years of age may have repainted parts. Decorative finishes also picked up negative reviews, external chrome quickly fades and swells, peeling off. Surprisingly, the same can be said about the chrome interior decor. Its replacement, however, will be inexpensive. In general, components for Yeti cost more than moderately, especially non-original ones. Often. Owners are dissatisfied with the strength of the windshield, complaining about crickets in the area of door seals. A well-known and easily fixable problem is extraneous sounds from under the bottom, where the fuel pipes stinkle. Among the entries in the complaint book you rarely find mention of the suspension and steering. Unless the annoyingly creaking silent blocks of the front levers can be considered consumables. Brake pad wear is standard. In other words, you can safely take the inexpensive Yeti if you remember two contraindications. Mechanics is reliable and serves more than 100,000 km without intervention. The oil in the DSG6 is recommended to be changed after 60,000 km. The all-wheel drive system is controlled by a Haldex 4 clutch. The main thing in it is to change the oil every 60,000 km. Otherwise, the electric pump may break. The diesel engine jams the throttle and intake manifold flaps in the open position due to wear of the plastic gear in its drive system on runs of more than 200,000 km. A new throttle assembly will cost about $150 for the original and $50 to $60 for the non-original. The intake manifold, up to $500. Two misfortunes are noted here. The backlash of the silent blocks of the front levers, accompanied by an unpleasant creak, and the knock of the stabilizer struts, which can annoy even at the smallest runs. Racks are not cheap. Plus some money for work and, of course, similarity collapse. Front wheel bearings can make noise already at 30,000 km. On cars up to 2011, rattling of fuel pipes can be heard from under the bottom. We fix the problem. It is unpleasant when external chrome parts peel off after two or three years. The quality of body iron and painting leaves much to be desired. 
On early cars, the paintwork on the fenders, hood and roof warped and blistered within a year after the start of operation, particularly vulnerable places in the cabin, except for the chrome trim parts that quickly lose their neat appearance, were not noted. Changing trinkets is not a problem, but the likelihood of a relapse is high. In winter, there are complaints about the fifth door, ice forms in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200 bits hinges, which prevents the door from opening normally.